Hello, it's Howard Rheingold. I first started following Dan Gilmore when he was a reporter and columnist for the San Jose Mercury, the newspaper record for Silicon Valley, and became one of the first journalists to use a blog. He later wrote a book which has become a textbook for my digital media classes, We the Media, in which he discusses the ways in which new digital tools uh, have enabled journalists to expand their reach. There's been a, a kind of pernicious meme about the mainstream media versus the bloggers in their pajamas who are out to put them out of business. And I asked Dan about that when I saw him recently at the Reboot conference in Copenhagen. So this is Dan Gilmore, and I wonder what you have to say to journalism students these days about the, uh, the mainstream media versus the, the bloggers meme, and, and where is that going? Well, the uh, question of whether bloggers are journalists is roughly the equivalent of asking whether people who write on paper are journalists. Yeah, some are, most aren't, but that's not the point. What's interesting is the uh, fact that people are creating media, first of all. Secondly, that some of them are creating journalism. And uh, the great goal we have in this is to expand the journalistic ecosystem and make it more diverse, more vibrant, and the bloggers are a huge part of that. And think of blogging as a proxy word for all of the uh, conversational media that are now available. So uh, are bloggers journalists? The answer is some of them are, and we should celebrate. So you're, you're a journalism student, and you're heading out into the world um, just as the kind of the journalistic institutions don't know what their financial future is. What do you think these students ought to think about what, what they need to know, what they need to carry with them? into well, this unknown future. I think they have, uh, they, they should think about one thing in particular, which is the uh, possibility, maybe likelihood, that they're going to have to invent their own jobs in a world where the uh, business models for traditional media are in, in real trouble. But that shouldn't scare them. What a wonderful opportunity. And, and God, I wish I was 22 years old and starting in journalism. It would be great fun right now to be out there taking these kinds of risks. So, yeah, create your own job. It'll be more fun than going to work for someone else. Well, I, I can imagine somebody saying that this begs the question of what is a journalist? Can you give us uh, the, the, the quick differentiation there? Uh, I have no idea what a journalist is. I do know what journalism is. And, okay. And I'm much more interested in that question. Okay. Uh, and th the problem is that there's no simple, succinct answer to that. It ranges from what we would recognize as journalism, uh, without any question, all the way to uh, what people have called random acts of journalism, where someone, for example, takes a picture that ends up in the flow of our understanding of what happened that day or in that event or in, in the world uh, and everything in between. So